Thanks for watching my YouTube. I am Connie from The Painted Photographer, and you're gonna learn how to paint this bee sign that I did. It has many layers, and I did all kinds of fun stuff on it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You can make it however you want. I used DIY paint, I used Jamie Ray Vintage stencils, and I also used IOD stamp. So if you want any of these products, you can find them at thepaintedphotographer.com. And I want the background to be yellow, but a little bit lighter yellow. White Swan. Get Batter. And Queen Bee. I'm gonna first start with a little Queen Bee and put it onto my board. Now I'm gonna add some cake batter. I'm not switching the brush. Cake batter is just a little bit lighter yellow. I'm gonna put some white swan. I'm gonna make some texture on my sign. So I have pieces of cardboard here, small pieces. And I am going to mark out half inch on six of them. Now I'm going to take some painter's tape. Be lined up right here. Put them together. That's the shape that I want for my background. Now we're going to use gravel road. Take the stamp that you made, dip it into the paint, and stamp your board. It's easy as that lining up the flats so that your honeycomb looks like a true honeycomb. I'm Connie from The Painter Photographer. This is my garden. I have many places in my garden. And I love I want to mute this background down. I gave it a light sand, but I don't I still don't think that it's soft enough. So I want to do a whitewash. But I'm afraid my whitewash will activate this paint. So I'm gonna go in with a layer of big top. So that it seals this paint. In and is no longer activated with water. DIY paint activates with water, so if I would have used a whitewash right directly on top of here, it would have activated it. All right, the big top is dry. Now I have some white swan. I have some white swan that I'm going to make real liquidy. Then I just take a brush and I brush that whitewash right onto the project. It's not reactivating any of the paint below because it was sealed with big top. Then after I have my whitewash on there, I'm gonna take a paper towel and just blot around on it. giving it another texture layer. Another element of a layer is I'm going to add a stencil. This is a Jamie Ray Vintage stencil. And I put some tape on just to hold it in place. And also, when I get close to those edges, I don't want to paint on my project. Mint chip. 
You're gonna go in and stencil with a stencil brush and go around the whole thing. Make sure your brush is just a little bit more on the dry side than the wet side so you don't have bleed through. And then I needed to have a mask. So I just cut the stencil out on a piece of paper so that I could put some stencils behind that one. This is also a Jamie Ray Vintage stencil. So there he is. We need to let him dry. I have, this is from IOD. This is the IOD Queen Bee set. And this is black ink from IOD. Turn them over. Now we're gonna add the fun stuff. Squirt that bee with a little bit of water. I got Queen Bee DIY paint. And just slop that paint right over top of that bee. I want it to run a bit. I'm gonna tip it up and spray it with water. Then I'm gonna add a bit of gray to his wings. I don't have a brush, so I'm just using my finger. That's how not perfect it can be. I'm gonna really watercolor that. And then pick it up and let it run. Now we'll let that dry. Now I'd like to add a little bit of color to the honeycomb. So I take my paint, my two different yellows that I have, and I use my finger. Water down my paint a bit. And use my finger to just Dot in there, water down. I'm gonna go in with a little queen bee. That was liquid sunshine. It's just gonna add a little bit of fun texture. The last step is to stencil your bee again. So you're gonna line it up and tape it down. You don't want it to move. A little black dress. There's your bee all colored in. I want my edges to be dark, so I used a dark wax and I put it all around the edge. And unfortunately, my camera switched on me, so you get to watch this sideways. Hope you don't get a sore neck. I sprayed this with a sealer so I can go right over the top with the dark wax and give it a vintage look because as long as it's sealed, your dark wax is not gonna stick and you will be able to move it around. can do for you. This is the DIY dark wax. This one is not dark wax. This one is. Look at that difference. So if you want it bright, leave it as it is. If you want to age it, give it a vintage look. Dark wax. subscribe to my channel to get more DIY ideas. Thank you and happy painting.